and welcome to my channel Genealogy Central. Today we are looking at the primate family tree. It goes from the earliest primates to humans. Okay, let's get started. Primates first evolved from 57 to 80 million years ago. Two groups diverged from the early primates, Halpophorini and Strepsorini. They This happened about 47 to 57 million years ago. First you'll look at Strepsorini. As you can see on the chart, Two groups diverged from the Strepsirini family. The first shown is lorises. Lorises are nocturnal and lie in trees. They are found in India, Sri Lanka and Southeast Asia. Notable members of the loris family include the slow loris, slender loris and pygmy loris. Lorises have a mild toxin which is used to discourage predators from eating them. However, sometimes orangutans will eat lorises. The other group shown is lemurs. Lemurs split with lorises between 62 and 65 million years ago. Lemurs are found on the island of Madagascar. There are over 100 species of lemur. Other species not shown on the chart include bush babies and potos. The group of Strepsirini is Halfluorni. Halfluorni has two groups. The first is Tarsius. It is believed Tarsius split around 70 million years ago. Although their position in Halfluorni is debated, the general scientific consensus is that they are more closely related to monkeys and apes than lemurs. The second group is the monkeys and apes. Monkeys and apes split into two groups, the New World monkeys and the Old World monkeys. The Old World monkeys are found in Europe, Asia and Africa, whereas the New World monkeys are found in South America. First you'll look at the New World monkeys. New old monkeys split from old old monkeys about 40 million years ago. It is believed the first primates reached South America by island hopping across the Atlantic. One of the families inside the new world monkey family is the marmoset. Marmosets are about 20 centimetres long. Compared to other primates, they are very primitive, with claws rather than nails. The other species on the chart are capuchins. Capuchins are thought to be very smart as they use stones to break open nuts. New world monkey species include the spider monkey, the squirrel monkey and the woolly monkey. Now let's look at the old old monkeys. There are 24 genera and 138 species. One of the genera are baboons. Baboons are omnivorous. In captivity they can live up to 45 years. Other old old monkeys include mandrills, macaques and guenons. The clade is apes. Apes can be split into the lesser apes and the great apes. Inside the clade of the lesser apes there is one family, the gibbons. Gibbons diverged from great apes about 16.8 million years ago. Gibbons are found in Southeast Asia. Gibbons live in trees and rarely go to the ground. There are 18 species of gibbons. Members of the gibbon family include the golden cheek gibbon, the Lar Gibbon and the Siaman Gibbon. Look at the great apes. There are five species of great apes. Gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans and humans. First you'll look at orangutans. Orangutans are native to Malaysia and Indonesia. They usually live up to about 30, but the oldest orangutan lives to 61. group are gorillas. Gorillas share about 95% of their DNA with humans diverged from chimps and bonobos about 7 million years ago. In the wild, gorillas live from about 35 to 40 years. The third group is hominids. Hominids include three other great apes, humans, chimps and bonobos. Bonobos and chimpanzees look similar, but bonobos are much more peaceful than chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are also larger than bonobos. Furthermore, Bon bonobos live exclusively in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, whereas chimpanzees live in Central and Western Africa. The last chimp human ancestor lived 7 million years ago. The third group on the chart is Australopithecus. Australopithecus is believed to look more like bonobos than humans. This is because they were nearly fully covered in hair. In Africa, the Australopithecus brain is 65% smaller than the current human brain. Males were up to 50% larger than females. The sister geniuses of Australopithecus was Parafompulus. They had big and robust heads, but compared to their heads, they had very small bodies. From Australopithecus descended is Genus Homo. 
Genus Homo diverged into many groups, but on this chart, three species are shown Homo habilis, Homo floresiensis, and Homo egusta. Floresiensis are a small archaic species of human. They were found in Flores, Indonesia. They went extinct around the time the first humans arrived, suggesting that humans caused their extinction. The species we'll talk about is Homo habilis. Homo habilis were likely the first human species to use tools and also likely had culture. The species on the chart is Homo egusta. They are the ancestors of Homo heidelbergensis and Homo erectus. Homo erectus are most commonly associated with cavemen. They are one of the first species to wear clothes. The sister species of Homo erectus is Homo heidelbergensis. Homo heidelbergensis is the ancestor of Neanderthals and humans. Neanderthals had bigger brains than humans, despite being shown as stupid in cartoons. Neanderthals were not as social as humans. Neanderthals and humans were very similar and they would often breed with each other. Neanderthals went extinct 40,000 years ago, possibly because of humans or climate change. Humans evolved 250,000 years ago. This is the end of our video. Last video's question was who was the first Prime Minister of Britain? Well done to the royal genealogist who answered Robert Warpole. This video's question is who was the last French king? Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and goodbye.